say, hey, we're going to start another vlog. Ella and I are in Ikea, obvs. Um, we need to use the £15 voucher that I've received <laughs> before it expires and I want a unit for the bathroom. And we're going to go to Meadowall, we've got a whole day of stuff on so I thought I would vlog. Okay, I've got what I came for, but Ella and I are feeling a bit weird about this like, whole rampy travelator situation. Because I'm holding this box I got on was like, and then what? What? What is happening? We've just got to Meadow Hall and Ella's already complaining about how much walking is involved in going to Meadow Hall. We literally just arrived. So the reason that I wanted to go into Derbenham's or Meadow Hall at all really is because the Christmas stuff came out online for Mac today and the stuff that I want is already sold out so I wanted to see if they've got it on counter. Love it, love it. You were like, where? Like that. Why? Glitter. So that was lunch. Very exciting. Notification just came on Ella's phone. So I think we found the new Smiggle for preteen Ella, and it is Skinny Dip, which has now come to Meadow Hall apparently. I'm a little bit in love with this though. How pretty is that? I might need it. I wasn't into my Christmas song choices. I don't know what the traffic was all about. Leaving Meadow Hall. We've just got to Morrison's. I've got to pick up some dishwasher tablets. Fun adulting stuff. And um, I need to get some stuff to make some Halloween cupcakes. It has been hours since we last spoke. Um, so we went to Morrison's to get some bits and pieces to make the cupcakes, which I still haven't made. I'm gonna do them tomorrow, which is the latest ever. I just completely out of energy this week. I had a cold earlier this week and was just tired anyway. And then I've been up late um, with like work and stuff. I haven't ended up having videos the last few days, uh, which is not what my plan was. I have videos to edit. I just haven't gotten around to editing them. And I sat down after I've just tidied like and cleaned and done a ton of stuff. And then obviously built the thing from Ikea. I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, and I sat down and went, oh my God, I'm so tired. So I'm gonna sit, I've ordered a pizza. We've just bought um, the house on iTunes, which I'm super excited to watch again because we loved that. And I think I'm gonna play a little bit of Sims because I haven't played it in ages and I love it so much. Good morning, good morning. I did not stay up late last night. I actually got a really good night's sleep. Um, I'm going to edit from bed this morning. Um, I've had a bit of a cold in the last few days um, probably early on this week, I was feeling really terrible. And then I kind of spent a day working in bed and I feel like that fixed it. I usually keep a cold for months and months and months. I didn't even develop, develop the cough, I'm starting to feel better. So since we've got people coming around tonight, I thought I'm gonna sit in bed as long as I can this morning, actually edit the videos that I haven't got around to doing this week. And um, then I'm gonna have to go and make all the stuff and start getting ready for the party later on. So that is gonna be my morning and I'm gonna treat myself Soon as I've finished editing the videos I need to edit, I'm gonna start watching some New York vlogs that I have put in my watch later because I'm getting quite excited about New York now. It's about three weeks away. So that's two videos edited and done and um, 24 cakes made. I haven't iced them yet, that's for later. I'm waiting for them to cool down. I've just been working in Milo's bedroom because he's got a desk and um, I'm kind of keeping out of the way of other stuff going on. Um, I think the kids are gonna have some lunch now. I'm gonna pop to Morrison's and get some bits for the party. Then it is cake decorating time. It is 20 to one right now. I feel like it's about half past four when I need to be ready. Um, Dad has promised me a special gin and tonic uh, pre-party. And yeah, I still don't know what I'm gonna be. I have no idea. I've had like maybe things that I could be, but I really haven't settled on a costume and it's kind of the 11th hour now. So all the party prep is done. I decided to wash my hair after all because I was gonna do something completely different and now I'm just gonna kind of like go gothic-y kind of thing, I don't know. Um, and I think I'm gonna start the makeup soon, but I'm gonna do mine, Ella's, but she's being weird about whether or not she even wants to dress up at all, my mum's, and I think my brother wants to try something with latex. I've never tried liquid latex. I meant to do that this, this year. Uh, I wanted to do a video where we kind of tried that out, but I never got around to it, so I may show you if I try. Okay, I'm ready. Um, inspiration struck you could say so i'm wearing my dress that i was gonna wear which is actually a dress that i bought for christmas parties and i think is quite nice but i thought partly it's black and a bit gothic and partly um i want to see if i can stand to wear it because it's got that irritating mesh i talked about in a vlog when i first bought it it's kind of annoying on the inside of this uh, so we'll see we'll see 
uh, but also I wanted to have a go with the Makeup Revolution kit that had all those different colours in it and so I tried to do like veins and like, I mean this is just normal tired morning isn't it? But there you go, right I'm going to take it into the tent. It's almost as if we've arranged for these special effects of wind isn't it? It's Sunday, and number one, epic hangover. Number two, I had a video go up today that I edited in a rush yesterday. I was trying to get two videos done and scheduled for yesterday and today. And um, in my hurry, I edited out all mention of the product itself. So one of, if not the last video that went up on my channel, which was a review of a liquid lipstick until I went in and changed the title and added something to the info box. For all intents and purposes, there was no clue to what the actual product was that I was talking about, apart from the fact that it was a liquid lipstick, and I really, really liked it. It's not a great start to the day when I had to feel like 25 comments saying, what even is this, feeling like this. Six. Six. I got all that money. You're still not out of the game, so. I'm going to put these in the mouth of it. I've got love. Mm. So yesterday was pretty much a lost day. I am still feeling slightly hungover. Rather hilariously, given that fact, I have decided today I'm going back to the gym. So I'm going to wear some stuff to work that's kind of half gym clothes just because I know I've got to work a little bit later today because I've got to work a shorter shift tomorrow and um, I'm trying to make it as easy as I can to not cry off after work um, nothing like a full day hangover to make you think maybe you need to reevaluate your health choices no I was feeling rubbish yesterday and I just thought oh, okay fine I'll finally go back to the gym I'm sure it's not even remotely related, but I do. I have needed to go back for the longest time. I just haven't had the impetus to do it. Um, so I'm going to try the CC cream today because I've only tried it once. The It Cosmetics CC cream. I've only tried it once so far. And I really, really liked the way that it sat on my skin at the time. But I kind of want to test it on a work day. I might do a whole separate video about this. Um, but I want to test it on a work day just to see how long it actually wears because I kind of want to get this in a lighter colour. Someone must be walking past the house because the dogs are going crazy. Um, to take on a holiday with me because I think it was like a really nice natural looking product. Does anyone else have like a thousand alarms go off just in case? Hey, getting out of bed. Another thing that I am very into is this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. At the time when I tried this out I said it was very similar to... Um, what the, gosh, what's it called? Dimmer Blend, very, very fine setting powder that I've been using. It was like that, but no, this is so much nicer. I'm going to buy a full size of this because it does that whole like um, diffused, soft focus, pretty, pretty look. But because of the pinky color, it just, I don't know if it's got any kind of um, shimmer to it. It's hard to tell, but it just is a little bit prettier on the skin. I love it. But I'm going to keep it super simple today, so I'm going to go for MAC Stereo Rose Blush and some mascara, which is Lancome Monsieur Big. Right, need to go brush my teeth and get dressed. So it's been a couple of days since I've vlogged, actually. Oh man, the queue always moves just as I'm going to do this. Hi, can I get a large caramel latte with an extra shot of coffee, please? Yeah, large caramel latte, shot, anything else? A large regular latte. Yep. And a small hot chocolate as well, please. Yep, cream and marshmallow. Yes, please. Yep, lovely, drive down. So I did go to the gym on Monday. I was very pleased with myself and I felt terrible as well. And then yesterday, um, I had the dentist, which by the way was not dressed up, very disappointed. Um, but I have made an appointment to have a consultation about having a brace. My teeth, I mean, my teeth are quite yellow anyway. Um, 
I don't do, I've got a, a bunch of teeth whitening stuff that I've been considering using recently, but my teeth are really sensitive. And so when I use that stuff, it's really painful. Um, and then every time I go to the dentist, I'm like, yeah, I can't use that because my teeth were really horrible yesterday. Anyway, so um, I was considering doing the whole teeth whitening thing. And then I thought really what I really, really would love to do is to have a brace and straighten them because all these teeth down here are just, it's a very British smile is what I've got going on here. Um, it's not particularly, I mean, sorry for all British people watching this that have got perfect teeth, but we are kind of known for our non-perfect teeth. And I, I feel like I fit into that stereotype really well. Um, so anyway, I would love that, but I'm a bit nervous on a couple of different fronts. Number one, very sensitive teeth and the whole brace situation may be um, quite painful. Number two, um, I'm a little bit scared of the lisp because it not you know like if I was just talking in real life I was saying this to someone at work who's had a brace before and she was like oh you don't even notice it after a while I would notice it because it's not like I was just talking to someone at work talking to someone at home talking to whoever and then it's gone I have to re-listen to myself talk all the time because of these videos and so is it going to drive me nuts also does it change the shape of your you know like because you've got something extra that's the only thing that's bugging me about it. I mean, it's expensive, so we'll see. Um, we'll see about that, because it's money that I would like, really like not to spend. But if you think of all the things I could spend that money on over the next year, um, would I not rather have like that? Perfect teeth. When I was a kid, my mom took me to a dentist and said, I want my daughter to have the all-American smile. Um, I don't know what happened. Nothing, nothing obviously went in that direction, because no. Um, but even my mom, when I was a kid, wanted that for me. This is where I get it from. Thank you. Thank you. Come for a walk um, with the dogs and Milo. Not that easy to vlog on a walk, holding two dogs and looking after Milo. As you can tell by my shoddy camera work, because uh, I've got my camera in my wrong hand um, my right hand and look we found some bulls we've never walked all the way down here before either that or they weren't here before um, my mom comes for a walk with the dogs down here all the time and she tells me where to go and I cannot for the life of me figure out the route that she takes but how pretty is this it's very picturesque just around the corner from where we live although also very close to the motorway so we're walking away from that now I'm going to try and find the path that she usually takes. I just like, it's like she described it as Narnia and I'm starting to believe her because I cannot for the life of me figure out which door she takes to get up. She does some kind of like elevated walk. What, under the bull? I think they might all be over there now. Maybe he's gone to sleep now there. There he is, there's the bull we originally saw. It's just so bizarre that they're so close to us around here. So look for the super shaky cam, these dogs will not stay still. Yeah, Milo's now dancing and singing to Lady Gaga. As you do, just entertaining me on our walk. So we climbed up um, <laughs> like the, the side of this big thing. And we found what I think is the walk that my mum talks about, but I still have absolutely no idea what's the proper way of getting up here because we've walked a, de a, decent, uh, a decent length in either direction and cannot figure it out. So we're gonna end up possibly falling down the side of a hill trying to get back down again. Whoa, good job. We went all the way from up there, which doesn't seem that high, but when you've got two dogs that are pulling you, it was not that fun. Back through the muddy tunnel, we go, fun, fun, super dirty. How are we gonna get around this, pals? I'm gonna land onto that. Oh, sludgy. Yay. I'm going this way. Yes, I didn't even put a tent on it. Good job, Miles. I wonder if Grandma means down there somehow leads to where we were. I just can't figure it out because it was like, it must go up onto this bridge. That's where we were a second ago. And she said to go under the tunnel, but that's very similar. It's kind of under a tunnel of trees. I don't know. Look we'll never find boots. it. Look at my boots. Goodness me, look at the dog's paws. 
Everyone needs a bath. I'm just gonna say that's it for the vlog now because we could go on forever. Um, I've just been putting off editing all week because the kids have been off. I uh, haven't had a tremendous amount of kind of alone time to do these things. I didn't just didn't want to do it. Let's be frank. I kind of took a week off. Um, but Emma and Chris are coming today and so I'll be videoing some bits and pieces for Christmas with Emma. I'm quite excited about that. I need to go and sort out Elle's bedroom because that's where they're staying. And you know, teenage bedrooms take more than five minutes to sort out to a, a level of okay for an adult to stay there. Um, and so I want to get this wound up. So thanks for coming with me this week on this random vlog. Um, and apologies for no vlogs this week or videos at all, but I have so many to come. I just received a massive box of um, new stuff from Makeup Revolution, which is a really exciting video that I'm gonna make. In fact, I might even split it up into more than one because it's that much stuff. I wanna do swatches of everything. So um, there's that, there's Christmas stuff. If there's anything specific you'd like to see, let me know. I have a week of outfits coming up. I'm gonna start filming today. Uh, tons and tons of stuff. And I am gonna do Vlogmas. This has not been a great example of how I could vlog every single day because I've vlogged like for five minutes every day. Um, which ended up probably being a minute of what you saw, but I am going to do Vlogmas and it is going to start on the first and it's pretty much going to be real time. So I'm excited about that too. Um, I feel like it's already halfway through November. Time flies. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon with something totally different.